congratulations on the release of Ezra. What has that been like kind of building up to that release and now having people watch it and it being out in the world? Um, thank you, first of all. Um, I'm so excited to talk with you. Um, oh my gosh, the thought of it being out in the world is absolutely insane to me, um, knowing that so many people um, have already watched the first two episodes is already huge. Um, and last Monday, we actually had the premiere. Um, and just getting everyone to see like the first couple of episodes was just mind blowing and to get everyone's reactions. Um, it was such a fulfilling moment. And like, it felt really good. It felt really yeah. good. And for anyone who hasn't watched the first two episodes, what can they expect from the series as a whole? Um, they can definitely expect blood just right off the bat, like no sugar coin, just straight into it, blood, um, chaos, and just a lot of good laughs. Um, and I think while we were filming, it, it was a hoot just because everyone in the cast is freaking hilarious. Um, so yeah, blood, chaos, and comedy for sure. Yes. And talking more about you and your character, Gwen, what was that like kind of stepping into this character and bringing her to life? Oh, man. Gwen is such, she has such a complex mind because on surface level, she is goth girl, gone trendy, um, she's rebellious, um, and she kind of has this, I guess, like resting bitch face persona to her, um, but getting to dive deep into her was, was such a treat um, because I got to figure out um, what she's passionate about, what she loves, who she loves, and really what makes her tick. Because she doesn't love a lot of people, um, but for the people that she do, but but for the people that she does love, like Ezra especially, um, it'll be ride or die for him any day. Um, and it was it was such a fun journey. Mm -hmm. And I know there are a lot of different vampires in our universe. Like there's Twilight vampires, there's oh, yeah. Ezra vampires. Like. What drew you to want to be a part of this one specifically? I I think the first thing that really caught my eye was the fact that the the description for Gwen was the fact that she was a specifically written as a Filipino character. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, me, myself being Filipino um, and growing up not seeing a lot of Filipino actors on TV, on like Disney Channel or YTV, whatever, um, I thought it was a great opportunity to just like fulfill my childhood dreams of maybe letting a, a 14, 16 year old um, watch me on TV and hopefully be inspired. Um, but also the fact that she's like, kind of like goth girl rebellious. <laughs> not, I'm not rebellious whatsoever. So it was nice to no. kind of like dig deep into that. No, not, no. <laughs> so this was like a new persona for you. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, I, I'd say I'm very Daniela, as a person, I'm very extroverted. I'm very loud. Um, sometimes my parents will be like, Daniela, you're too loud, whatever. Um, but Gwen, she's a bit more cool, calm, collected, grounded for sure. Um, and there, we definitely have similarities, but more so opposites, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, this show covers a lot of different topics, along with being about vampires. I'm wondering, what do you hope viewers take from it after watching the series when it's all out? Um, I think, I, I mean, because again, it's, it's a gay vampire show. Um, so we got our LGBTQ plus community and then we have our BIPOC community really representing on the show. Um, I just really hope that they, they learn that the, the queer community and the BIPOC community are not just their trauma. It's not just, um, their coming out story. We're so much more than that. Um, cause we have, we, we got jokes, we got stories to tell. Um, we don't want to just talk about our, our sad moments in life. There, there's more to us. Um, so I really hope that people see that when they watch the show. Mm -hmm. And I mean, for you personally, do you have a favorite moment or memory from this set? I have so many, I have so many, especially because this was my first ever series to work on. Um, mm -hmm. and especially coming out of theater school, it was just absolutely insane but um one moment that really sticks out to me I'll, I'll do like a funny one and then like one, more of a heartwarming one okay um, more of a heartwarming one was when we filmed I believe it was episode five um and Gwen specifically has a monologue um while she's talking with Ezra 
um, in a little, little spooky area. Um, and they have a heart to heart and Chelsea Clark wrote this monologue um, and her being able to help me dig deep into that monologue and really remind myself why I'm here, why I'm doing this for, um, again, like any Filipino viewers out there who have a dream, who want to um, dig their roots here into Canada if they're like a first or second generation immigrant. Um, she really brought me back as to why I do what I do now. Um, and hope to inspire others. So that was a really, really heartwarming time, despite the fact that it was really freezing that night. <laughs> it was great. Um, and then a funny one. Um, oh, episode two, Veronica is, Veronica plays Amber. She is a hoot. She is crazy. She's chaotic. Um, but filming this one scene um, in, the, uh, in the cafe, we had to film it over and over and over again because someone would be laughing because of something that she that she spit out of her mouth it would always be something new and it it would always be something absolutely insane which made it harder to just get through the scene um i think we only got like maybe a couple of shots um that were like okay for that but veronica is absolutely hilarious so you would work with this cast and crew again is what i'm hearing over and over again, like behind the scenes, like, oh man, they're all so freaking great. They're all talented. And I learned so much from all of them um, because a lot of them have worked on, on other TV sets, on other film sets. Um, so I was able to kind of just like pull their wisdom out of them in terms of just like acting business side, but also just like being a pal when I needed. Um, and I hope I was able to do that for them, but they were all great and I love them all so much. Yeah, and I mean, this show as a whole, if you could describe it in three words, what would they be? Blood. Blood, mm -hmm. chaos, comedy. I'm, I'm okay. going to go with this from, from earlier. Blood, chaos, comedy. It's, it's a whole whirlwind of those three. Yeah, definitely. My last question for you, though, I know you're just having this release out and it's all really exciting. But do you have any future projects that you could hint at or talk about? Um, you know what? Right now we're kind of just chilling. I'm, I'm planning on, or I am going to be working on a workshop for a Filipino musical soon. Um, li li little workshop within the um, Toronto Filipino theater community. Um, but otherwise, we're just chilling for now. But we're going to see what comes with with Ezra. Maybe we'll see if there's a couple seasons that come out. But yeah, for now we're just chilling. Yeah, take a nice break, relax. <laughs> exactly. You deserve it. But congratulations on this whole release again. And thank you so much. It was so great talking to you. Sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.